Hello again, boys and girls, for this Thursday, December 3rd math lesson. Okay, so I love this math that we've been doing this week because it's doubles, doubles, doubles. I can add doubles. It's no trouble for me to add doubles, right? So we have 1 plus 1 equals... 2, 2 plus 2 equals 4, 3 plus 3 equals 6, 4 plus 4 equals 8, 5 plus 5 equals 10, 6 plus 6 equals 12, 7 plus 7 equals 14, 8 plus 8 equals 16, 9 plus 9 equals 18, doubles, doubles, I can add doubles. That's our song we listen to, stuck in my head when we watch that. Okay, so today we're going to learn the last three doubles so we know them all. So I want to show you the chart that you have at school. I think most of you have them at school. I don't know if some of you have this at home or not. I just pushed you away and I should have pulled you forward. There we go. So what we just sang... So we have the 1 plus 1 equals 2. And I know on our paper we're going to do people. So it's going to be two people instead of two eyes. 1 and 1 equals 2. Okay, then 2 plus 2 equals 4. That was a wagon. 3 plus 3 equals 6. We're doing that one today. Two shamrocks. 4 plus 4 equals 8. That's the one I did with you. Last lesson I did with you. 4 on each side. 5 plus 5 equals 10, 10 fingers, 6 plus 6 equals 12 eggs. Then this is the one I did with you also, the calendar, 7 plus 7 equals 14, 8 plus 8 equals 16, and that's crayons, I know it's hard to see on this, 8 crayons in the first row, 8 in the back row equals 16 crayons. And then today we're going to do the tic-tac-toe. So there's nine squares on that one, nine squares on that one, and that equals 18. That one's kind of hard to remember. Till we learn the nine, we're going to learn a nine trick that's going to make that easier. But nine plus nine equals 18. These are the ones that get a little harder. You just have to memorize them. Picture this to help you if that helps you, okay? All right, so let's just do a couple. I'm going to put a, a double on here, and you yell at me the answer. But don't yell too loud if you're home and you have to be quiet for something, okay? But if you can yell, yell it at me. Ready? Ten. I need an eraser. Good, ten. You guys are quicker than I can do it. Oops, seven plus seven, 14. Two plus two, four. Okay, this is one we're gonna do today, so we might not know it really fast yet. Three plus three, six. That's our shamrocks. Uh, nine plus nine, 18. That's a new one today too. A new one. Oh, this one's super easy. One plus one, two. Did I do this one already? I don't know. Two plus two, four. And that's the wagon wheels. Picture the wagon wheels. Um, picture crayons. Sixteen. And picture eggs. 12. Okay, just got to keep practicing those, trying to get faster and faster. Faster, faster, faster. Okay, so for math today, you need your little strip if you have it. If you lost it, it's not a gigantic deal. You'll still see the pictures here at school. And you'll see them on the back, so they're on the back for you too. And then you have this. Okay, so while I'm getting it up on there, can you go ahead and cut out 
these three boxes. This one, again, don't cut the shamrocks apart. I know that's dotted right there, but don't cut them apart. Just cut around the big rectangle boxes. Okay. And you'll need glue or tape. Tape will work too. And if you don't have either, you can just lay them there for when you do the paper, okay? All right. So you're cutting those. And then we're gonna start with this. Okay, so for our three plus three, let's look again. Three plus three is our shamrocks. Three leaves and three leaves. So glue three plus three, your shamrocks, right here. Glue your shamrocks. I'll just draw them. Okay, so we say three plus three equals six, because there's one, two, three, four, five, six leaves. All right, now we have one plus one, that's our person, our two people. So glue that one here. So we have one plus one equals two. So nine plus nine is left is our tic-tac-toe in the middle. Oops. So you're gonna glue that here. I'm just gonna do boxes. And that equals 18. That's our highway, I remember that. 18, nine plus nine is 18. Okay, so three plus three is six, one plus one is two, nine plus nine is 18. All right, so for the bottom, let's see what it says. It says add, look for easy doubles. So it, it's how you want to do it. You can go through and do the doubles first and then go back and do the others, or you can just go in order. Just make sure you don't miss any Make sure when you're done that you check and you've answered every one. And then it says, go back and circle all the doubles on the page. Go back and circle all the doubles on the page. So after you do it, then you go back and circle it. Oh, like I see, they pop out at me. Nine plus nine is 18. And then we would make sure that we circled that one, right? Because that's a double. Okay, so you're gonna do that when we're done. Let's look at the back though together, okay? Let's look at this side before you finish that side. Or if you wanna pause me and do it, that's fine too, and then be ready for this side. Okay, so now Here's our pictures again that goes with our doubles. Remember, this is the nines, right? It says put X's or O's to show two nines. So inside the boxes, you can just do some X's and O's. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so that's nine plus nine equals 18. Okay. For the people, it says circle two ones. Here's one and here is one. 
So one plus one equals two. That's our easiest double, isn't it? <coughs> Circle two threes. This is a three and this is a three. Three plus three equals six. I'm gonna make these fatter. Thank you, ma'am. You guys see it a little better? All right, nine plus nine is 18. Okay, so for the bottom, it says cover the top. So if you can, try not to look at the top. And do the doubles, then do the rest. So this time it says do the doubles, then do the rest. Okay, I, if it was me doing this, I would look for those nine plus nines first because they're kind of the hard one, right? And I would go through and find those and put my 18 because they're my hard ones. And the more I do it, the more I'm going to remember it. Okay, so go through, find your doubles, do your doubles, and then do the rest. I don't think there are any, oh yeah, there's some from a different day. There's our seven plus seven, 14, right? All right, so you can do, it doesn't matter which side you do first. You can do this side or this side first. Maybe you've already finished this side. Make sure you do them both and send a picture to your teacher. Those are the last of our doubles, boys and girls, so we really want to be trying to memorize those so we can be fast at our doubles. So that not that so much easier than getting counters and counting all your counters? Makes it so much quicker. So yay! Okay, when you're doing your math, if you need a little break, you can always stand up, do some stretches. If you do one side and then you need a little break, do a little stretch and take a little break and then get back to it, okay? Because I know sometimes doing both sides, you're sitting for a long time, you need to move a little bit or get up and jog in place. Okay? Do something like that. All right, boys and girls, so that's it for math. And see you tomorrow, Friday, for our phonics lesson. And that is it for today, so have a good day. Bye now.